à tous deux DDO, attention pour le début de la séquence d'allumage du lanceur. Top à 0 moins 20 secondes. Largage du main VKM, allumage triétage. Attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Top, décollage, lift off. du lanceur. Paramètres propulsifs sont normaux. Et SES-15 a begun its long journey. Raymond Boyce, the range operations manager, is telling us that everything is going according to plan. Les paramètres sont nominaux. Everything's normal. We're heading east. That's unusual for Soyuz. Normally it goes north. We're going east today because we're carrying a satellite headed to geostationary orbit. Position premier, deuxième étage, nominal. I was rather hoping that we were going to see the boosters fall away there, but we just lost the, the launcher and we are coming up now to the scheduled moment when we jettison the boosters. Look at those super images from cameras mounted on a previous launch. They are twisting and turning. It's all part of the plan. Extinction des moteurs du premier étage, séparation des boosters, AVGD. That's all been confirmed now. So we're burning the main corn core stage. It's going to burn for about three more minutes. And we're looking here on the top right hand side of the screen. You can see our trajectory. That's the planned trajectory, and the cross is the actual position of the launch vehicle. Bottom left is our altitude, 81 kilometers ah, above the Earth and attendu. climbing. We're heading towards the Kármán line. That's the border between space and our atmosphere. It's where the atmosphere Vol becomes nominal, nominal. so thin that it can no longer support vehicles with wings. So it's where aeronautics ends and astronautics begins. Look at the top of the vehicle, the nose. That's called the fairing. The satellite is inside there. And it's been protecting the satellite from the rigors of the launch so far. So from the acoustic vibrations at liftoff, it's very loud, you can just imagine. And also from friction, because we have been traveling through the dense part of the atmosphere. But now the atmosphere is so thin that we don't need it anymore. It's able to be jettisoned. Separation coiffe. And that separation of the fairings being confirmed. So we can see our satellite for the very first time. The captain has switched off the seatbelt signs. There it is on the right-hand side. The rectangles are the solar panels. Of course, right now it's all folded up. Nominal. And later, once it's been released, it's going to open its wings like a butterfly. And the gold structure, if you look on the right-hand side of the screen, is the frigate upper stage. And the satellite is attached using a very special and clever dispenser.
bottom of the screen, our distance from the pad, 432 kilometers. That's if you were to draw a straight line along the Earth from the pad. This is the scheduled separation now of the second stage and ignition of the third stage. Those Allumage parts. du troisième étage, bloc I, extinction du deuxième étage, bloc A, séparation, bloc A. And he's confirmed that. Soyuz has uh, what's called, or uses rather, a hot stage technique, which means that. Largage de la section arrière du troisième étage, bloc I. It switches on the third stage engine before switching off the second stage. A word about our confirmations. We're seeing the key moments happening at the planned time. We get our actual confirmations de of those milestones just fractionally later. That's perfectly normal. That's because it uh, takes the information a little bit of time to get to the range operations manager here at the Guiana Space Center from the launcher. And that's because it goes via Moscow where it's validated before coming to the Pour Launch Control Center here at the CSG, CSG being the Guiana Space Center. Nominal. He's telling us that everything is going nominally. Our speed on the bottom right-hand side of your screen, 4.63 kilometers per second. And we left the pad from the northeastern corner of South America. Galio there on the left-hand side is the tracking station here at the CSG. We lifted off six minutes and 46 At seconds ago de from la the pad. La station de Natal, au Brésil. And he's telling us that we have now picked up the signal at the Natal tracking station. You can see it there. It's on the northeastern coast of Brazil. We're tracking the, the launcher using the ground stations. I look at that superb replay. We were very lucky to have such a beautiful view of the launch because it has been raining a lot recently. It's been raining cats and dogs, to be honest. And today we've got super blue skies. These images we're looking at are CGI images, computer generated. They're showing us exactly what the experts have calculated is happening to the launcher and the satellite. So uh, basically what happens is the teams plan a very precise schedule of events based on extremely accurate predictions. And they put all of that information into the computer and these images, images are a simulation of those predictions. So basically every movement, every position, every twist, every turn, every flash of an engine that you see is based exactly on what has been planned for this flight. Or nominal. Everything's going normally. Our altitude, 200 kilometers. We're traveling at coming up to nearly seven kilometers a second. The third stage is now shutting down its engine and separating from the frigate upper stage. That's what it looks like as it uh, is jettisoned and we are now starting the next phase. The frigate upper stage is in what's called the pre-burn phase. It's getting ready to switch its engine on. That takes it 55 seconds. Section du troisième étage, bloc I, séparation de l'étage frigate et du satellite SES-15. No, we have conf confirmation of those events. Uh, so what frigate does is it gives a quick burst of acceleration and that pushes the fluids back into the tanks. 
So it's a little bit like when you put your foot down on the accelerator in your car and you get pinned back against the seat. And the frigate upper stage is switching its engine on now. So we're really beginning the next part of the journey. The main propulsion phase is over and frigate is our taxi driver. Its job is to deliver our satellite to its drop-off point in space. We call that the separation orbit. So frigate, the gold structure on the right-hand side and the satellite to the left of it with the rectangular panels there. Frigate has six spherical tanks organized in a circle. You can just see it on the right of the screen. Four of those tanks, de de four of those, uh, tanks are for propellant and two for avionics, which you normally find in the cockpit of a plane. Frigate was originally designed as an interplanetary probe uh, to travel around in the solar system and then it was adapted to fly on Soyuz. It can actually switch its engine on and off up to 20 times and that means that it can take its passengers pretty well anywhere they need to go. So that makes Soyuz ideal for launching all kinds of spacecraft and uh, particularly useful for constellations. Today, it's going to use its engine twice to push SES-15 to its drop-off point in space, to its separation orbit. <laughs> 